Welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you're just starting your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with all aspects of English life read by a native British speaker. Together we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history, and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website, onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's also about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love for the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page, where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions, share your own language journey, and as a reward for being so amazing, you will get exclusive content each month. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets of Sao Paulo, or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Get comfortable and let the learning begin. Hi to today's new listeners. You're in so many countries that I can't list them all right now, but today I want to say hi to my friends in Egypt, Taiwan and Hong Kong. Thank you for joining my community. I hope to see some of you for private lessons in the near future. Let me know where you're listening from in the comments. Today's episode is called Unlocking Life's Bru- Today's episode is called Unlocking Life's Blueprint. In the mid 20th century, two scientific mavericks embarked on a journey that would revolutionize the understanding of life itself. James Watson and Francis Crick a dynamic duo of scientific brilliance set out to unravel the mysteries of the DNA structure, a quest that would shape the future of biology and medicine. The tale begins in the early 1950s when the scientific community was buzzing with excitement about the enigma of life's blueprint. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid held the key to the secrets of inheritance and the very essence of life. However, understanding its complex structure was akin to deciphering an intricate code written in an alien language. Watson and Crick were not the only ones on this ambitious quest. The scientific race was intense, with multiple research groups vying for the coveted prize of unlocking the double helix structure of DNA. The atmosphere was charged with the spirit of competition, collaboration, and the insatiable thirst for discovery. One of the major obstacles the duo faced was the lack of experimental data. They were aware of the works of others, including Rosalind Franklin's X-ray diffraction image of DNA, which provided crucial insights into its helical nature. However, Turning this raw data into a coherent and accurate model was a formidable challenge. Watson and Crick were not deterred. Instead, they embraced the challenge head on. 
The breakthrough came when Watson and Crick combined Franklin's data with their own innovative model building approach. The duo ingeniously constructed physical models of the DNA molecule using cardboard cutouts representing the various molecular components. This hands-on approach allowed them to visualize and manipulate the structure in three dimensions, leading to the pivotal realization that DNA exists in the form of a double helix. The discovery of the DNA double helix structure was a turning point in the history of science. It was a triumph of human intellect, persistence and collaboration. The duo published their groundbreaking findings in the Journal of Nature in 1953, forever altering the scientific landscape. The impact of Watson and Crick's discovery reverberated far beyond the confines of the laboratory. The DNA double helix became the cornerstone of modern molecular biology, paving the way for unprecedented advancements in genetics and medicine. The understanding of how genetic information is stored and transmitted opens new avenues for medical research, genetic engineering and personalised medicine. The duo's work laid the foundation for the Human Genome Project, a monumental international effort to map and sequence the entire human genome. This endeavour, completed in 2003, ushered in a new era of genomic medicine, enabling scientists to decipher the genetic basis for various diseases and develop targeted therapies. In addition to its scientific impact, the discovery of the DNA structure had profound social and ethical implications. It ignited debates on issues such as genetic privacy, cloning, and the potential misuse of genetic information. Society was forced to grapple with the newfound power to manipulate the very essence of life. In retrospect, the story of Watson and Crick's quest to unlock the DNA structure is not just a scientific saga, but an affirmation of the human drive for exploration, perseverance and teamwork. Their courageous odyssey transformed our comprehension of life, imprinting an enduring influence on the scientific terrain and permanently altering the course of the world. As we continue to unlock the secrets of the genome, we owe a debt of gratitude to these intrepid explorers who dared to unravel the mysteries encoded in the twisted ladder of life. Remember to join me on Patreon for exclusive content. Join me in December for a detailed look at the traditions we celebrate around Christmas. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Please comment, like, and share so even more people can discover me and my podcast. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further. Whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics, I'm here to guide you on your English journey. 30-minute lessons are £8 and 60-minute lessons are just £15. Buy a package of 10 lessons and you'll get your 11th lesson for free. If you haven't had a lesson with me before, why not try a 20-minute trial lesson to see what the lessons are like for the reduced cost of just £5. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining my Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps me bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of my show. Plus, you will receive exclusive content so you can keep practicing your listening skills even more. It starts from just one pound. Your support truly means the world to me and I couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected 
and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining me here on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing.